The Huracan's 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 engine has been ditched in favor of a hybrid V8, and it makes enough power to leave the Ferrari 296 GTB quaking in its tires. New Lamborghini Temerario Design The unique selling point of Lamborghini's mid-engine supercars is the bonkers styling, and they get progressively more spaceship-like with every new generation. At a glance, though, the new Temerario doesn't do a huge amount to move the game on from the Huracan. The headlights are much slimmer than the Huracans, and there are new hexagonal daytime running lights in the lower bumper, which incorporate air tunnels to aid cooling to the engine. Looking at the Temerario from the side, you'll immediately notice the traditional wedge shape we've come to expect from Lamborghini, with a low-slung front end making it look aggressive and purposeful. You also have staggered alloy wheels with 20-inch rims up front and 21-inch alloys at the rear. Like the V12-powered Revuelto, the Temerario also has a trio of electric motors which boost this to a combined 920 horsepower, and it can make up to 2,150 Nm of torque when in launch mode. This is sent to all four wheels via an 8-speed dual-clutch gearbox, and 0 to 60 mph is dealt with in 2.7 seconds, meaning it's 0.3 of a second slower than the Ferrari 296 GTB, despite a 90 horsepower advantage. The stats don't tell the full story though, because the Temerario still has a glorious V8 soundtrack, which is amplified by the sports exhaust system. In certain modes, it'll open up valves so you can enjoy the noise as you rev the V8 up to its 10,000 RPM redline. New Lamborghini Temerario Interior the Temerario's interior is very similar to the one you'll find in the Revelto, meaning it's a lot more modern and high-tech than the outgoing Huracan. An 8.4-inch portrait touchscreen dominates the center console, although this is similar to the system you found in later versions of the Huracan. There's also now a 9.1-inch passenger display and a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster. New Lamborghini. How much is it? Moving to the back of the car, you have hexagonal taillights which mimic the DRLs at the front, and the lower bumper has a much bigger diffuser than the Huracan. That center-mounted exhaust outlet is similar to the one you'll find on the larger Revuelto. New Lamborghini Temerario engine and performance. At the other end of that exhaust tip, you will not find a 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 engine, because Lamborghini has jumped on the downsizing bandwagon for the new Temerario, just like Ferrari did when it replaced the F8 Tributo with the 296 GTB. Lambo hasn't gone full Ferrari and fitted a V6 lump, instead opting for a 4.0-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine which, despite what you might think, bears no relation to the one you'll find in the Audi RS Q8 and Lamborghini Urus. It puts out 800 horsepower on its own, which is already just 30 horsepower down on the Ferrari 296 GTB. You can configure your new Lamborghini Temerario now, however, there's no word on pricing just yet. The outgoing Huracan started from around 200,000 pounds, so you can expect this new supercar to fetch closer to 250,000 pounds. There's an all-new Lamborghini in town, and it's called Temerario. Like so many past Lamborghini models, the Temerario is named after a famous Italian bull, this one known for its bravery, a fitting legacy given the not-too-timid approach Lamborghini has taken with its new Huracan replacement.